Finally, in our dealings with, Chinese, with the Chinese government and officials, members of Congress and the administration should affirm the peaceful desires of the Tibetan people for greater autonomy and freedoms within China. We should stress that China's policies create needless grievances and their repression of Tibet only hurts China's international prestige. It brings dishonor, dishonor to Beijing. We should demand open access to Tibet by journalists and diplomats, and we should raise the cases of prisoners of conscience with Chinese officials. U.S. leadership on these issues is critical because our allies in Europe and Asia can often be bullied by Chinese threats of economic boycotts. We must demonstrate that Tibet matters, human rights matter, that religious freedom matters to the U.S.-China relations. And again, I want again want to thank Chairman Rubio, who has been a stalwart in speaking out on behalf of human rights all over the world, including and especially in Tibet.